Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time once again to revisit the Call of Cthulhu, the computer game of that name from 2018 last year. Now I know, I know I haven't finished this one, I got put off by the electric shock discharge sound during the cutscene with the giant Cthulhu alien monster thing down in the water down below. And also so there's some inconsistent logic and a few other things which I'll be bringing up soon. But first off, no, no, I want to refresh my memory of the controls because it's been a while. I think it's just basic, um, let's see, yeah, sure, I'm not going to use a bloody thing, show me keyboard controls. Uh, so WASD, control and shift. I'm going to be forgetting to use shift, I swear, frequently. Uh, e for everything. Light, middle, mouse button, and mouse. So, all the light stuff is on the middle mouse wheel. Shoot, we haven't had to use that once yet. Now, come on, I'm scrolling up and down here and it just keeps going. Come on, shoot. Lean forwards, right mouse button. Diary exit J, okay. I need to remember that lean, because I think it was a thing that could be done for mouse to lean around corners and look at stuff. Okay. Now, when last I played, there were a few odd things going on in the game, which I will be addressing shortly. So first off, um, Call of the Cthulhu, Nasty Horrible Monsters, trying to... Well, goodness knows what they're up to, but apparently humanity doesn't matter and barely even registers on their senses. It has been a very long time. Now, I had some issues with the widow and the cat Karu, whatever she was called, the knife woman. We haven't seen a knife yet, by the way. So I've got a few issues with the game, but I want to try and enjoy it anyway. My number one issue is the game's save system. It has the same issue as the a plague tale which i want to get back to soon as well having left that off about three or four chapters in whereby it's got a really crappy save system i fully appreciate the game having an autosave system where it saves at the last save point hello lady i'm terribly sorry for your loss i know you wanted me to leave soon you got the gangster in the next room with a knife who stabs people and cuts people up. We know this a lot. You're pulsing oddly as if there's some kind of weird tentacle creature inside you controlling you like a puppet. In the meantime though, there are clues here I would like to look at. But, first of all, I should... Bloody hell, that's a weird portrait, unless a lot of the paint has flaked and part of your face seems to be missing. But let's have a look at this. Because there's a few things that give me issues about this game. So I don't like the save system. Main reason I'm bringing up this menu now is in case the gangster decides to chav stab me, right? Because she doesn't like people. Ooh, I've got a point I can spend. Excellent. Now, I'll get to that point in a little moment. Oh, wow, I can't, I can't spend it on medicine or occult knowledge. They have to be learned over time. I was able to spend points on these at character creation I didn't know and only found out later after starting the game, but that's okay. In future it might be worth dumping a lot of points into occultism to find out a lot of things, but not necessarily. We have updated information on Irene Sanders. Now this being the 1920s, it's quite possible and probable that it would be pronounced Irene. But I believe it is pronounced Irene in this game. So, Irene Sanders, age 41. She actually has a 1920s hairstyle, unlike every other female character in the game so far. Occupation, none. Should I be occupation widow at this point? It's clear that she holds Sarah Hawkins responsible for the death of her husband. What I don't understand about Irene Sanders 
is this mix of sadness and insensitivity. It looks like she had given up on her husband long before his horrid death in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. Well, I mean, he clawed his own eyes out, and depending on how long he was there, ah, uh, this could be quite understandable. Have a look, let's go away. Dark water, go away. Good, got all the information here. So, issues I have here is... We had Sarah Hawkins, the artist. Look at this. I can click on people and bring up pictures. I talk about them. We found letters from an art dealer written to Sarah Hawkins, encouraging her to uh, create paintings in more popular subjects. I can't remember the exact details. but And it was referring to paintings in an art gallery. And the general vibe from the letters, the impression was that this art dealer was somewhere on the mainland, dealing with people on the mainland, selling her art to uh, art galleries, and that her art was really popular, and the art galleries were loving it, they were paying lots of money to buy it, and then we found the art dealer in the institute, and he got killed by an invisible monster that we couldn't see or interact with. Then we met his wife, and she basically said we can go and look at all the paintings, and they are here in the gallery, which is in her house. In her and her husband's house. Not on the mainland. No big deals being done with the popular, with the art dealers and everything. Just, that is really, really weird, okay? Because that has changed a major conception and given a very bad impression. Now, we also have the mystery of Officer Bradley, who blatantly died. And before his death, he was very insecure and bumbling and pretty useless. Then he died, and after returning from death and everyone acting as if he did not perish, he has become confident and somewhat efficient in his role. This drastic change of personality is concerning. This could easily be some kind of shapeshifter impersonating him. However, we also have Dr. Colden, who has apparently been in an affair with Dr. Bradley and it goes beyond a little friendship from what I seem to recall them intimating. However, she did not seem to be phased by his sudden change of personality or put out at all. Now this could mean a number of things. It could be that his confident act is something he puts on when he's around her, when he loses his stammer and becomes a, uh, you know, he wants to impress her. Or it could be that she's a shapeshifter too and knows what he's up to. Now, there's also, uh, let's see, in Call of Cthulhu, that supposedly there's the, um, the shapeshifting snake people who kill a person and then eat the person like literally devour the body so that they can then assume the likeness of the person as a disguise. But there's also the me go who extract people's brains and put them in jars and interrogate them and then control the bodies like sort of remote control puppets to do things so that they can project their consciousness into the body once the brain's been sucked out so they can experience or inhabit things that they don't normally get to do and learn about our world of Earth. So it could be that Officer Bradley and maybe even Dr. Marie Colden are some kind of alien creatures. Also, see this nasty scar going all the way up his cheek here? That would be from when the nasty woman, who doesn't even seem to be here... Where is Cat? When Nasty Cat cut open his cheek, and we should, we don't have an entry on her, unfortunately. But 
she's been she's apparently now involved in what Miss San Ms. Sanders is up to. Now Kat's a local smuggler running uh, bootleg alcohol and other things. You know, it has been a long time since I played this game. I actually had to skim through a couple of points in the last episode just to refresh my memory. Don't worry, I didn't watch it on YouTube to boost my views. I probably should have done that. I just watched my backup copy. Right. We have a skill point. And we have all these purple skills that we can put it into. Now, I've heard from some people that the strength stat or skill is basically barely used by the game, if at all. So far I've only seen it one opportunity to use it, and the others get used a lot more. I mean, the spot hidden, investigation and psychology get used a lot more than strength. Eloquence has had its uses. What would I like? Well, so another issue I have with this game in similarity yet again with A Plague Tale isn't it interesting, this seems to happen with French games is that it seems to be remarkably linear to the point where um, it's, it's almost as if player choices don't really matter very much um, all you're going to get from player choices is flavour and garnish so when I played through up to a point uh, earlier than this to try and like check for something I'd missed, I found the spot hidden was revealing different things. And yeah, that, remember when I was going through the caves? Well, I, if you watched <laughs> the earlier episodes, when I was sneaking through the caves and I spotted a blank section of cave wall with light on it and said, this looks like there should be something here. There was something there. My character was just too dumb to notice it. So that's something I may be looking at increasing. Okay. Um, so there are different things you can find and they give a bit more insight or understanding or add a little flavor of something to a situation. Now in this current situation, spot hidden eloquence and psychology would probably be useful while it'd be nice to bump this up to a 60, I think we need a bit more spot hidden. So I am going to go for the 65. Yeah. I don't know if the game is using the percentage or the uh, points of completion. But it seems to be using the actual percentage instead of the five levels. The five levels seem to be just a rough basic guideline. Now, 65 is not bad. I think 70 hits the 70 or 70 hits the instead of 75, 70 hits that because it might be capped out at 90 or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's go look at these paintings which are apparently on the island in this house. Now don't mind me, lady. I'm just ambling around, saying. Hey, look at all these things I'd like to look at. You know, this nice picture here, for example. Day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Photograph of Sarah Hawkins next to the Sanders. They must have been close. Well, evidently. Okay, nothing. It's unfortunate the rotation is only horizontal and there's no vertical rotation possible. Okay, though. I'm not sure what kind of clue, apart from the fact they were close. New clue memorized. Wait, you're giving me a... No, I don't want to go into reconstruction. I want to look at this first. Did she really care for him, after all? Dear Madam, I acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I'm sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of his internment, you signed a dischargement allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences to you, Thomas Fuller. Okay. So we can do a crime scene reconstruction here, despite the fact that... Oh, I can't remember how to do that now. Is it left and right click together? It was! Okay. 
Hello, piano. A house of artists. That's it. A house of artists. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Ah. Good bit of psychology there. I like it. I like it. I'm going to go have a look at this piano now. Again. A house of artists. Nothing. It's just a piano. It's not going to let me leave through the Dark Souls mist doors of fogginess. Seriously, there's virtually nothing here to find. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? Sounds like he really... Okay, so he wasn't waiting a long time for her to finish the painting. He was waiting a long time for her to sell it to him. Is there anything else? We don't... We haven't had the green thing yet to show us that we've found everything. Oh, hello. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Okay, that is just weird. The painting just disappears upon close to... Oh, hello. Hello. So I can't get you, but I can get you and you. You're scared you are revolted and disgusted by the thing. She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the Ooh. painting she truly hates. Why? Because he spends all the time looking at the painting and not looking at her. I mean, no, that's a little too obvious, but probably something to do with it. And she is afraid of the so Come on, woman. You're going all invisible on me now? Why won't you let me interact with you, lady? Only from this angle. He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. So why would she... Hmm. Is it to get the money for the medical... Oh, now I can look at the painting, okay. Ah, uh, occult knowledge, which I'll probably fail due to only having a meager... 20%. But this could give us more occult knowledge. Okay, that's going to be bad, isn't it? Okay, that was disgustingly effortless. I need to see it. No, you don't! You really don't need to see it, man. Oh, you mean the painting? Ah, uh, that's really bad. Have the eyes been cut out of the painting there, or is she painted with blood coming from the edge of the eyes and the eyes missing? Right, there's a book here. Breviary, bleh, Breviary of Medicine, Tome 2. This second volume in this series covers everything from gas gangrene to trench nephritis. Nephritis? Sounds like nephritis. In addition to a precise and detailed study, the book presents some avant-garde theories. The incredible complexity of this book reserves it for medical experts. And we'll rotate it and see that it's the same as all the other books with nothing too special or unusual. If if we could, like, look up and down at the top to see if anyone had left it in a bookmark, that would be really helpful. But sadly, that's all we get. But our medicine skill has improved. Hooray. It's now 24%. Yeah, going... So these skills go up in very small amounts when we discover information, giving the impression that um, maybe dumping skill points into these early is better, but it does mean these other skills will fail more often. Okay, clues, what do we got? We got the letter, we got the investigation thing there, and here we have nothing new, so what... Oh, knowledge, okay, what have we got? Okay, Breviary of Medicine, Volume 2. Which, Breviary? What a terrific title. Horrific mo Bloody hell! Um, what? 
Okay, there's gotta be some kind of... I'm not gonna play the woman's piano in her house when she's supposedly mourning her dead husband with a impatient, hot-tempered gangster in a nearby room who said they would come if there was any trouble. An impatient, hot-tempered gangster who's through here... My god, that's a lot of paintings of this woman with her eyes or face messed up. Well, let's go back out this way. And remember, this game has a horrible save system, so I have to do this all in one sitting. Okay, that is a disturbing painting. This little statuette helps reinforce the idea that this man was an art collector and was interested in other kinds of art before Miss Sanders came along with her paintings. Well, Mrs. Sanders, really. Wow, there's almost nothing at all to interact with here. Oh, hello. Lanterns out there. We might not be that far from the... Hello, can I at least... Not even this? Oh. It could be that our detective is being incredibly dense at the moment. Examine the Shambler. I'm going to avoid the door for now. My god, that's a hideous painting. I hope it wasn't one of hers. One of Mrs. Sanders, that is. I strongly suspect this is the same room. Oh, Okay, that is not normal. That, that painting morphed and changed there before our eyes. Let's examine... Oh, it's going to be drugs, isn't it? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. An audio recording that Francis Sanders left for his wife, Irene. Okay. Well, there's a gramophone record-like device in the next room. And he's going to say, play the piano to solve a puzzle, isn't he? Bastard thing. Another door here. A rather bleak looking painting. Cat should be through here somewhere. Yeah. Let's not bother her just now. I'm tempted to actually close that door behind me, but no. I won't do that because she might teleport through it and cheat or something, but let's make use of this blatantly. Hey. I made a mistake. She must have heard this before. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter. Except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him. Behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. Oh God, no. Am I supposed to play that tune? Anymore. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. I bet I am. Well, I'm not going to listen to that again unless I have to. Can I? No, I can't talk to you. Okay. This isn't going to end well, but... Da, 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 da. Francis Sanders Cylinder. I'm going to navigate or listen. Oh, just hang on. WNS. Wait. What? No, there's, there's just this one thing here, man. I can't do anything else. Uh, right. I'm going to leave that in the hope that I don't have to do some stupid, overly complicated music puzzle, but it really looks like I do. Let's look in this room and hope it's not... Hey, look at that. It's locked. Now 
this one as well. Yeah. Unsurprisingly, this door to... I mean, look, this is a private residence. I'm expecting all of these to be locked at this point. I'm really... You know what? Sod it. Yeah, she's got a knife. A strange Amerindian pendant. Amerindian isn't really necessarily a term people used very much before the 90s. And I can turn it round. Wow, look at this. It's uh, almost exactly the same from the other side. <laughs> there, there's there's no, no secrets, nothing carved on the back or anything. It's, um, okay. And apparently he's stolen it, like a chav. And it's gone up to 25% knowledge of occultism. Yes, American Indians create beautiful jewellery. Oh, hello, there's something down here. The Whale and the Cod, A Brief History of Darkwater Island by Erwan Greenmouth. Oh, it's written up here as well. It is focused on the past glory of the island. Here's me reading that on the front cover. Okay, well, it's definitely a fishing town. And we have this. I could use one of those. Oh. <laughs> More sleeping pills. Were they prescribed to Francis Sanders or to Irene? You know, it doesn't say anything about that on the label, so we have no idea. And if Francis Sanders has been in the... Look, he's been in the... Insane Asylum 4. I'd consider quite a while now rather than just... If the time frame of this is literally in like a week or two, he's been in the asylum and been and died and everything like that, it's just... It feels like it should be longer. Oh, hello. Now, we've had two warnings that this woman has a knife and likes to cut people up. At least one of those warnings was something we could have missed if we didn't have the right skills. So, I don't know if knowledge that she has a knife will affect our chance of survival if she chooses to use it on us or not. It would be nice for it to have some kind of effect, but it's very hard to say. Hello, what's this? It looks like a Strange. letter. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has, made, has any meaning for you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler. Your friend, Sarah Hawkins. You know, it's almost like she was trying to warn him. A warning he did not heed. Hello, book. You look like a, a skill increase book. An old diary. Oh, okay. Diary of a Pastor's Wife, Volume 3. This volume spends some time on Reverend Y. Wickwood's community. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend's congregation are having since... Fi Hang on. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend's congregation are having since their arrival on the island. His wife expresses the strain, her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend's congregation are having since their arrival on the island. Okay. Not the congregation's arrival, but her husband and herself. Some members of the community, husband included, began to speak of their vision as a messenger sent by God. She is scared that they will suffer the same fate as the lost tribe. This is the third volume. We haven't come across the first two yet. And I suspect strongly that the musical puzzle, and there's a musical box there which might help, will unlock those two locked doors into that room. Before going anywhere near you, Kitty. Hello. There's a book on the shelf. Dissertation on an anatomical question. It is the work of a student in book form. 
Although the observations are relevant, they lack the expertise of an experienced physician. However, the questions asked allow us to imagine new ways of exploring human anatomy and might even increase our medical skill. It did! Hooray! Okay, going for that door might be a problem if she's standing right here. Yes, hello. Don't mind me. There's a book on the table. Uh... I'm going to just... I'd, I'd love to, but she's standing right there, you know? Can I can I back out of this one? Interesting. Well, look, I, I've got to read the book. Malleus Bestiarum, Volume 2. Out of... 2? This will affect your destiny. What, reading it right in front of her? Yeah, probably. I mean, she's standing right there with a bloody knife. You know, it is a kind of encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. I'm not sure it will affect our destiny very much, but destiny seems pretty set in stone. The, the affectation generally is fairly minor, but... Oh, hello. New entry in diary. Yeah, probably... Alright, I'm going to talk to you. No, I'm not. I'm going to play with the music box first. Ha 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 ha. Um... Bash it open? No! Good God, no. I'm not going to use strength to force open the music box, although it would probably help me hear the music better. Okay, nightmares, what have we got here? It's going to be, yeah, Malleus Bestiarum. Right, so, sanity meter. I am strongly suspecting that the amount of sanity we've lost has been degrading over the storyline with our own experiences having very little effect. Like, there, there might be a tiny little difference if we played things differently, but not massively so. And I'm feeling that it's just going to inevitably decline anyway. This being a Cthulhu mystery, it's all about trying to discover everything, and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. So, oh joy. What have we here? What new occult information? Okay, yep. Right. We got the book. We got the letter. We got Francis Sanders cylinder. And go away! I've oh, dimensional shambler. The dimensional shambler comes from a dark and inhospitable dimension where the rarity of food sources keeps it in a state of permanent starvation. This is why it is in a constant state of readiness to travel to other dimensions in order to feed on its inhabitants, like Francis. Make sure you never weaken the veils of your dimension, otherwise you risk attracting its very, this very dangerous creature. Should this happen, you just have to lay eyes upon it for its being, to anchor itself in your dimension and allow it to rip you open with its claws. In other words, don't look at the painting, you idiot. I mean, just saying, you know. Our detective is going to die, isn't he? He's going to look at the painting and get killed by the monster. Over the course of a lot of chapters. So, reading the book and finding out about it is almost looking at it in a way. Okay, cat, let's talk to you. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Huh. Um, what's that? I can't remember that. Test eloquence. Um... Tricky. I have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate Ironically before true. making an offer to his widow. Nice story. Bad lie. Learn how to dupe, detective. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. And what is your way, lady? And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. 
A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Who's Fitzroy and are you walking away? There was a conversational option. Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Fine. I'm going to be an idiot. Oh, it's just a key. Okay. This is going to end badly. Just saying. You know what? You'd like some privacy? I'd like to close this door so that you don't see what... Wait. It's probably a key to the door in that room. But just on the off chance, it's a key to somewhere else, like here. No. Or here. I mean, these doors are locked, right? This isn't going to end well. There might even be a jump scare. Wow. Irene, I made a mistake. Hmm. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids each time I shut my eyes. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. Okay, so most of the notes on the piano don't sound like those nice. But boom, 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 boom. Right, so. No. Ah. No, that's wrong, okay. There we go. Nope. 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 So that was pretty much it. And nothing seems to have happened. Okay. Let's go look at a nasty, horrible painting and die and get killed by a shambler. I'll open the door and she'll say, how did you open the door? And we'll say, you bloody saw us open the box, you ninny. Right. Yeah. Game saved. Well then. This might be the... Fuck me, that's a fish man. That is a total fish man. Close the door. Anyway, that is a perfect time for me to save the game. And upload this episode. Yeah. Well, uh, I hope those of you who have watched this have managed to enjoy it, because I know this series doesn't get a lot of views. And I'll look forward to seeing any of you in the next one. I'll say bye-bye for now, and cheerio!